<clears throat> the views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. And now, boys and girls and transgendered squirrels, it's homework time once again on the good old Pope on Film podcast. <coughs> People of the internet, your attention, please. Remain seated, please. Permanecer sentados, por favor. <laughs> Each week, the Pope on Film podcast assigns homework in the hopes of bettering its listeners, nay, the globe. Yes. And this week, the Bunchurian candidate, the Bunger Games. <laughs> I honestly... And sincerely apologize for this week's homework. It's this, pretty bad. This was a weird one. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna argue how bad it was. No, it's it, it's bad. It is bad. So you don't really need to argue how bad it is. No, don't get me no. Wrong, I'm, I'm gonna argue. Honest. I'm gonna argue against a bit. Okay. Okay. In an all things considered kind of way. Okay. But but go ahead, bring us in here. Um So this is a nineteen eighty-nine video called You on Kazoo. It's actually part of a series called the Special Friends series. It was produced and created by Melissa and Doug, which is a toy company. They make a lot of wooden toys that are sold, or rather, uh, they make a lot of toys which are currently gathering layers upon layers of dust at your local bookstore. Yeah. Their toys focus on make-believe and imagination, like here's a, a, a wooden cooking set featuring wooden food, and you can pretend to make food. Mm -hmm. And they they also uh, make uh, costumes. Here's a fireman outfit. You could pretend to be a fireman. So it makes sense then that, that in 1989, only a year into their company's existence, they decided to experiment in selling make-believe interactive VHS videos for kids. And this is one of three videos, which is interesting. There yeah. was Special Friends featuring you on Kazoo, Special Friends Let's Sing Along, and Special Friends Ring Along Sing Along, which came with Jingle Bells, so that you could play Jingle Bells yeah. along with the Christmas songs in the video. Although, who really wants to buy their hyperactive five-year-old giant Jingle Bells? Mm-hmm. And also, this video. This video came with a kazoo. Who wants their kid to have a kazoo? So this thing was actually for sale? Yes. This video? Yes. Okay. It was for sale. So it was yeah. not just done for YouTube? Oh, no. And no. put up? No. It's from 1989. It is, from 1989. It, it is by Melissa and Doug, the toy people. Yeah. Huh. Seriously, this is some creepy shit. Yeah. There's this creepy ass white kid that's looking directly at you and taking you to either play kazoo or show you a dead body. Yes. It reminds me a lot of the last Ultraman homework that we did when the science patrol was trying to sexually harass us. Yes. <laughs> I got the same creepy ass vibe. I was worried that the kazoo kid was going to take us to the bike shop molester's place. See, I kind of feel, I feel very uncanny Valley about this. It's probably not the best use of uncanny Valley, but it's the only way I can kind of explain how I felt. Okay. okay. Yes, it is creepy. Okay. But other than that, it looked like a fairly standard kid show. Yeah, okay? I, I had the feeling. I had the. Yeah. I had the feeling that we were that although this was 
made by the Melissa and Doug toy company and that it was sold to people. I got the feeling that what we're really watching is a uh, backdoor pilot. Yeah. Yeah. I could, I could see that. Yeah. That it's just baffled all over again. I mean, I mean, it, it looks and feels like a kid's show. Like, like Maxwell has watched this, right? Uh, he watched some of it. Yeah. Let me tell you who really liked it. Eleanor. Yeah. Eleanor liked the hell out of this. I mean, there was something, there was something in the way of a story. 12 12 months old. My 13 month old loved this. Yeah. There was something in the way of a story that I could see that could be kind of entertaining for its target audience, which was definitely not us. Oh yeah. The kid was cute and pretty competent. You know, yeah. I mean, child yeah. actors suck, you know, I mean, they yeah. just, they just he, do so that he was able to put the energy and everything. I mean, he's no Gary the, Coleman. The video know. is, the video is creepy and stupid and I hate it, but it's not the kazoo kids fault. But I'm, but I'm, what I'm trying to get at is I feel like it, it, it is creepy because it's like a show, yeah, but not a show. Yeah. So very in that uncanny valley kind of feeling, like it's it's not human, but it's close to being human, which makes it creepy. You know, so I, I think production value is one of the biggest things that make this seem off yeah. and wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I read somewhere that it was literally filmed in somebody's parents' house. No that, surprise. That, yeah, that that somebody somebody in the in, in one of the producers or directors just had some parents that had some acreage and they just went to the acreage and filmed and then that was it. On a big VHS camera, I would bet. Oh yeah, probably. Because it had a very VHS kind of look, yeah, to it. Like it had, it had. Uh, not really visible lines, but lines that you can almost like feel. You know, like yeah. the raster lines on it weren't right. You know, yeah. it, and I, I think it's all of these elements that made it really come off creepy. Yeah. Well, other than that, it was just kids making pretend. Well, right now, right now, I'm going to go a step further and I am going to give this video more credit, I think, than anyone else has ever given this video. Okay. Okay. Because I, I hate the video and I love the video and I hate the kid and I love the kid and this is bizarre and I hate it and I love it and I <laughs> I don't understand it but I want to watch it a bajillion times. I first discovered it by watching the Trap remix which is amazing. There's a remix of this that's just absolutely incredible. Seen it a bajillion times. I, I mean but, I real I really thought I was walking into it's going to be a half hour of a kid blowing a kazoo. Which yep. would have made me die. Yeah. No, 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 no. There there was a bit of, uh, you know, there was more to it than that. Mm-hmm. But I will say this. It had for, more than the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll say this. Really, though, if you really think about it, this video is basically Blue's Clues before Nickelodeon came up with Blue's Clues. Yeah, I can see that. Way before Nickelodeon decided to do interactive kids shows on Nick Jr., a toy company said, what if we have a child look directly at the camera and talk directly to the kids who are watching this show. Mm-hmm. So really, 
Melissa and Doug invented Dora the Explorer first. I can see that. Yes. Except they Melissa be suing and Doug's a bit. Dora. Yeah. Except Melissa and Doug's Dora is a creepy white privilege Dora that you badly want to slap. <laughs> How can, you, how can you slap that enthusiasm? The, 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 he, he's got some spunk. I'll he, give him that. The kid's got moxie. He could have grown into the, one of the great scenery chewers ever. Mm-hmm. You know, even better than Ben Stiller. Oh, God, freaking Ben Stiller. Mm-hmm. His giant ears. So there are three videos. You on Kazoo. Let's sing along and ring along, sing along. I don't know about ring along, sing along, but I know for a fact that let's sing along is also available in its entirety on YouTube. I'm tempted to watch one of the other two, but I'm afraid if I do, I'll get on a watch list of some kind. Yeah, that's a possibility. So (laughs) you should not be a fan of this small boy. Yeah. So what happened was this slappable kid auditioned in elementary school, and next thing you know, he's starring in all three special friend videos. The Kazoo Kid is in all of these. He's not related to to the toy people? Nope, he auditioned, he auditioned. for this. Okay. He auditioned for this. Then the videos sort of disappeared from existence, and again, as we say so many times here on the, on the, the podcast, That should have been it. Yes. Then in 2001, someone on YouTube uploaded a small part of the video. Yeah. And then that led someone to track down the full thing and post the full thing on YouTube. And then that snowballed into fan edits and remixes and yada, yada, yada. I sent you the one that perfectly perfectly matches last week to this week yes. with uh, the trailer for B movie. But every time someone says B the kazoo kid starts playing the kazoo yes. and I started playing that and Bella just is watching YouTube and then just suddenly really dad <laughs> really. And I'm like, what? It's a good transition. That's a perfect transition. <laughs> From last week to this week. That's perfect. You couldn't you couldn't you couldn't write that even if you tried. <laughs> but then boom, in the beginning of 2016, that's when things really took a surprising turn because a Twitter user with the handle at penguin underscore man ninety seven was watching the full video, was watching you on kazoo, and said, wait a second. This guy's name is Brett Ambler. There can't be too many Brett Amblers out there. Yeah. A lot of the names of the kids who start in this are names so original that there's no way you can hide. <laughs> you know, like mm-hmm. if the kid who if if like the redheaded kid in Yuan Kazoo was named uh Mike Johnson. Okay, he can go hide. He can hide from being the redheaded kid on you and Kazoo. But like one of the kids in this video is named Hildanis Colon. Okay. <laughs> H-I-L-D-A-N-I-E-S is your first name. <laughs> and your last name is Colon. You cannot hide from being one of the kids from you on Kazoo. <laughs> Basically, a Google search will immediately f- d- uncover you. Yeah. Whether you want to be remembered from you on Kazoo or not. So the kid who started this is named Brett Ambler. And, and so the Twitter user at Penguin underscore Man 97 went on Twitter and said, I'm just going to search Brett Ambler. And sure enough, boom. Wait a second. Or is this guy... Is he the kazoo kid? I'm not sure. This guy might be the kazoo kid. Let me just test it out. I'll send him a tweet. Just really simple. So he, so at penguin underscore man 97 set at Brett Ambler, just a little tweet that said, 
you on kazoo changed my life. <laughs> okay, so really? now you're Brett Am- Yeah, so now you're Brett Ambler, okay? You are trying to be an actor. What? No. So you're Brett Ambler. You did this one video as a child, but you still dream of being an actor and you still act. You do plays. You do commercials. You one day still dream of becoming a big famous actor. And some and then the last thing you expect, someone tweets to you about the video you did when you're like eight. That is so fucked up. Dude, think about so it. Okay, but no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold, hold right here, hold right okay. here. Think about how fucked up it would be if you got a tweet, you, if you got a tweet <clears throat> from someone you didn't know, and said your karaoke version of Journey changed my life. Yeah, yeah. How fucked up is that? Yeah, no, that's pretty fucked up. Just this but, thing that you did way back there that you have totally forgotten about. Yeah. Yeah. See, if it was me, there would they would be something like, Bob changed my life. And then I'm changing my name. I'm changing all of... I am moving. <laughs> <laughs> I am closing all of my accounts. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so please go ahead. So, like that was literally like, it, yeah. So he he tweeted to Brett Ambler, "You on Kazoo changed my life." That's what this uh, Twitter user Josh Reed, yeah, tweeted to Brett Ambler on Twitter, and um. The thing that I have, the thing that I said to Natasha, the thing that I said to uh, Emerald is Brett Ambler could have been a big dick about this. Yes. You know, Brett, Brett Ambler could have said, like, no, that's not me. Brett Ambler. Brett Ambler could have. Like said, like no, that's not me. So then, so then somebody, somebody else tweets him like, like pictures from you on Kazoo, and and literally like calls him out and says, "Is this you?" Yes. And he tweets back, maybe the <laughs> yes kind of maybe. <laughs> so it's like the good thing, the real good thing to come out of this. Is that he loves being known as the Kazoo Kid? It, he's one hundred percent okay with taking like a picture with a kazoo for with fans. Yes, he did a Reddit AMA where people asked him like a shit ton of questions, and he answered the questions. And like he's actually kind of happy, yes. being known as the Kazoo Kid. And that's the best part about this. He could really be a dick about this. Yeah. As people have been, as people usually yes. are. Yeah. Because you That's- you had sent me the Twitter link. Yeah. And I went and I, I checked out his Twitter. And he pl- he he played a special kazoo bit just, just the other day. Was it the 4th of yeah. July or something like that, I think? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Which inspired me to, to tweet to him. Hey, I just watched uh, you on Kazoo. I'd like to do with a do a video, uh, do an interview with you for my show, The Pope on Film. And he answered, "I'm available Tuesday." Ah, amazing! So, amazing. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna interview the Kazoo Kid. Yeah. Ah. I'm gonna interview the Kazoo Kid now. Now. Old time listeners of this show going way back even into the single digits know that I have always wanted to interview Lance Kerwin. (laughs) And I can't do that. 
This is yeah. my Lance Kerwin. This is my oh, uh, yes. the questions are gonna be different, but really kind of the same. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I I'm Good. I'm excited about about interviewing the kazoo kid. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. This is good. And by the by the time Tuesday rolls around, I mean we gotta work out details. I mean I found out about this just like an hour before showtime, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I haven't been able to work out any kind of further details in that. But but if we go Tuesday, by Tuesday this episode will be will be cut and edited yeah. by then. So he'll be able to hear this whole piece. Before, so he'll know what he's walking into. Yeah. You know, so it's not yeah. like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I, I, I honestly want to hear things out of him. I want to hear how he got the job, what, what he thought about it. I mean, that has to, that has to be really exciting for a kid. Oh yeah. You know, and how yeah. long does it take for you to realize that that actually wasn't anything? You yeah, know? did he think and it then it becomes something. something big? Yeah. You know, yeah, did, did he think this was going to be a major thing? Did he think that like, oh, this is it. This is taking me places. Like yeah. I would imagine being a kid, you would think that. Yeah. Did you did you look at the Corys and think to yourself, I'll be there soon? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, there's there's some yeah, no, there's some good questions in there. Yeah. So so oh, I I'm have sad a... I'm sad it, it wasn't on YouTube because I really was curious about how his parents may have handled the comments. Yeah, that's a good question. You know YouTube if if that was your kid, if it, if that was my kid, they ain't reading all those comments and a lot of comments oh, getting deleted. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, because the internet is not a friendly place. <laughs> yeah. So, I I don't I don't necessarily have I don't necessarily have a plot breakdown because there yeah. is no plot. No, it kind um, of rambles. But but I do have some things that I wanted to say about the podcast, I, I, about about the the you on kazoo video. Yeah, like in the beginning, I really did get like the creepy vibe of, I think we're going to be friends, special friends. Look, don't touch me, Brett. Yeah, <laughs> like that's great, but really like. There's a thing called personal space, and you need to learn about it right now. <laughs> yes, but so, most but most kids at that age would only be able to get that line out like, "I want us to be friends, um, yeah, special friends." You know, where yeah. Brett was selling that shit. Oh yeah, maybe selling it a bit too hard, but you know. A, a good director can overcome that. It's a shame he didn't have one. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So then, so then, Brad is like, I like to sing. Yeah. Dance. Pretend. Choke myself in the shower. Mm-hmm. Drown cats. I am. I am. I am currently having nightmares about the kazoo cows. <laughs> like I dream that, like I'm in a cabin in the woods by myself, and suddenly I just hear this, and I look outside, and there's kids pretending to be kazoo cows, and they're they're coming to eat my face off. <laughs> I have nightmares about that. But seriously, Bunny, just kazoo it. Just kazoo it. Well, my concern is that he had this mob of kids behind him. And he's telling us everything that he likes to do. But around other kids, 
he he sometimes gets quiet. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's like, yeah. holy shit, the kazoo kid's got issues. There's a problem. Think- and it made me wonder, with that being the case, why did the other kids choose him as leader? Yes. Yes. Natasha asked something similar to that. Did- like, wait, he's in charge? Why is he in charge? Why is he in charge of these kids? Did he get the conch and then just never give it back? <clears throat> the part that, that cracked me up was that there's definitely a scene in which of all the kids that they badly dubbed over yes. at various times, that they badly dubbed the Asian girl. <laughs> and it's so ridiculous because the Asian girl's moving her mouth, but uh, what you hear is, but what are we going to do? And it's like, oh, no, don't badly dub the Asian. That is offensive. That is a Godzilla movie. Yeah. No. So do you think that it would be possible to make like a Nike parody, but with a kazoo? Like, how could you get the kazoo to be the like Nike swish? Maybe have the kazoo be the long part and then draw like a sound coming out of the kazoo. That can be the like curve. And then just under that in the Nike font, just write just kazoo it instead of just do it. (laughs) I think it's possible. I don't know. I think it's possible. I'll have to work out some some prototype drawings. I would have to think on that. Yeah. All right. Then the pretend spirit shows up and lures the kids into the forest. Yes. This could easily be edited into a horror movie. Yes. Has anyone done that? I don't think so. Anyway. Then, after a doo-wop song in a barn, Brett takes us back into the woods to come on to us. <laughs> And he sings a love song about our f- special friendship. Like, am I dating Brett now? Yeah. Because just in case we are dating, FYI, I am a top. <laughs> I am a verbal top. Just FYI. But at the same time, I also think that if you were watching this at the proper age, okay, if you were like Brett's age, possibly a little younger, you would be thrilled at that. You would be oh, yeah, thrilled probably. at the idea that Brett, this kid who's on television, is your very special friend. Yeah. If I had watched it at the right age, then absolutely. When I was a kid, I watched the stupidest shit. Mm-hmm. So I would have... This, is, this is mostly because we are older and, and must defile everything beautiful. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And that's part of why we feel it creepy. Yeah. The the thing that gets me is that th- this video feels like either a failed pilot or yeah. the beginning of a Stephen King short story. You know what it is? No, you know what this really is? This is what would happen if Mr. Rogers made a snuff film. Nice. <laughs> That's good. That's good. No, I felt that it was a Stephen King short story. Like one of those ones that's only like 29 pages long. Yeah. And, and and it's about this kid and he has this one video and he's been obsessed with the video. But then he gets older and he gets a wife and he gets a he he gets he becomes an alcoholic, but the yeah. kid wants to to go camping so his son wants to go camping so he takes the kid camping but then uh the kid runs off in the woods and disappears and so the kid goes into the wood so the dad goes into the woods looking for his missing son and finds that the kids from the video that he that the dad saw when he was eight yeah are living in the forest and they haven't aged and they've taken his son to be one of the kids Uh uh-huh i like that and that these kids in the forest are like these 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 spirits that never age that just kidnap children i like that 
I was going a little different. I was going a little different in that, in that Brett grows up. Okay. If, if Brett, the character in you on kazoo was real. Okay. Yes. Not the Brett Brett, the TV show Brett. Yes. He grows up. His life is a wreck. Yes, he is alcoholic. He's probably using drugs. His wife is a whore. He's not sure who his daughter's father is. And yes, they do go camping. Okay? Yes. But while camping, he finds the kazoo. Ah, okay. And he blows the kazoo. And then he is back there. He is back gotcha. at his happy place. Yeah, his laughing place. Yes, if you, if you want to go there, because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. everybody has a laughing place. I, I think those are two solid movie ideas that we have out of you on kazoo. Yeah, I really, really love the fact that we're writing you on kazoo fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I really do think that we are the pioneers of a new genre of literature. Yeah. Because this video really could. Yeah, it's inspiring us. Yes. Yes. We're being inspired. Yeah. And, and old, old Brett realizes that's what, what is missing from his life is the magic of childhood. Yeah. Yeah. So he kills his wife and his daughter, you know, to start again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, I'm a big fan of Hildany's colon. (laughs) (laughs) That's a t shirt. That's a great job. That is a t shirt. Yeah. Hildany's colon is really where it's at. Big, big fan of Hill Dance Colon. <laughs> I found a bunch of... I, I, I googled every child that was in this video. Yeah. And pretty much all of them have been found out on Twitter, by yeah. the way. Can we get yeah. them together for a reunion? I, go- I definitely googled Hill Dane's Colon. How cool would a reunion... What if what if what if what if we just redid the whole episode exactly as it is but with them grown up? Yes. That may or may not be the plot of the new movie Brigsby Bear. <laughs> not sure what Brigsby Bear is about, but I know that 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 you know, that might be in the same universe. Yes. yes? A grasshopper trespassed on our lawn. Did you kill it? No. Yeah, you should have. I don't think it's illegal for grasshoppers to be on our lawn. It is. I thought you were gonna say a grasshopper 911 me, and then I was gonna freak out because we're psychic. Yeah. But. <laughs> but uh, sure, no, you you, you went a that. different you went a different way with it. Hi, honey. Hi. We're just finishing up the homework right now. Of course you are. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Do you want me to go get Amber? No. Let's no. all go get Amber. It's fine. Okay. I just want to drink. Amber. I know you do. I waited for you to drink. I'll put that right there. I didn't want to so drink till after I get Amber. Yeah. I'll put that right there. You know, I mean, last day of. Yeah, your last semester. day of summer school. Summer school. Wait, isn't that uh, isn't that what it would have would have been? You yeah, summer the summer school. semester. Yeah. Okay. Um, apparently the baby's uh, limit, and the child watch is an hour and a half. Really? And we went to pick her up at, at like seven fifty nine because they close at eight. Yeah. And uh, she was asleep in one of the workers' arms. Oh, Eleanor fell asleep in one of the. Oh no, Eleanor cried to sleep. Oh. Because about fifteen minutes before I got there. We're trying to leave Eleanor at the Y. 
Not permanently, like while we are doing things. Oh, really? I've been leaving her permanently. I've, I've been trying anyway, to start a new uh, life in Sausalito. About 15 minutes before I got there, they wiped her nose. And that's, that's what did it. Yep. That's what did it. She was yep. fine until they yep. wiped her nose. Yep. And then she started crying and she wouldn't stop. So she picked her up Aww. and she fell asleep. That's what the so, oh, that's a yeah. That's, as long as they didn't wipe her nose, she would have been fine. But yeah. you know, it's not running down her face at all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's yeah. got some serious allergy. But problems. she went a half. Well, she went uh, about almost forty-five minutes longer than last time. So almost two wow. hours. So she's really good with those people. At that. I think it's less the area. people and more the. Oh Just my the God! There's so many and, uh, children and kid toys. I don't yeah. home. Yeah. And her brother's there. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, that happened. So that's all I have for you on Kazoo this week. What'd you say, honey? Yeah, I did laundry. Why is this so... Why is what still... Oh, I don't know. I just haven't gotten rid of it yet. But this is really good homework related incidents. (laughs) Um, What the hell? Oh, I don't have anything else on you on Kazoo. Do you have anything else on you on Kazoo? I do not. Do not. And that is it for homework this week. And we sincerely hope that your eyes, minds, and colons have all been suitably open. Ah! But don't think you're getting out that easily. Don't forget next week's homework. And for next week's homework, we will be watching two videos in a series of YouTube videos that were then turned into Adult Swim videos. They are known as off-the-air videos. Or as I like to call them, organic acid trips. Like if you want to have an acid trip, but you don't want to take acid. So these videos are a sort of organic acid trip, but without the acid. They're real trips. Yeah, they're 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 a series of bizarre things that are interconnected by vague themes. There's a number of them. I I was just sitting next to Maxwell the other day on the couch, and I was bored, and I just started thinking. Uh, Maxwell was telling me something, and I was and I was listening to him, and I just kept saying, "Nice, nice, yeah, nice." And I remembered that video we did for homework. Joe Perla talks you to sleep. Yes. And I was like, that's such a weird video. I I haven't thought of Adult Swim for a really long time. I'm going to go on Adult Swim's YouTube page and see if they have anything weird. And I went to to their page, and most of the videos are like, here's a three-minute video. Here's a two-minute video. Here's a 45-second commercial. Here's a two-minute video. But then I would have... I would find these videos that were just that would just be labeled work slash off the air slash adult swim. It's 13 minutes long. And I'm like, what the hell is this? So I put it on and Maxwell and I watched one. And after the video, Maxwell just said, Daddy, that scared me. Can we watch another one? And I'm like, okay, let me see if I can find another one. I don't I don't even know what we just watched, Maxwell, but let me find another one. Here's another one. It's called Water. Okay, let's watch Water slash Off the Air slash Adult Swim. And we watched it, and Maxwell just said, that was really pretty. Can we watch another one? Okay, let me find another one. Here's one, and it's it was Work slash Adult Swim uh, slash Off the Air slash Adult Swim. And, mm-hmm. uh, Maxwell, that that one really got Maxwell because Maxwell kept saying, Daddy, this this video is giving me ideas. And you would get like, <laughs> like a piece of paper and he started scribbling all this stuff. Daddy, we got to keep watching this. I'm getting more ideas. Were and you so frightened? I, I, I was worried he was getting possessed. Yeah. So I found two videos, and they're vaguely connected. One is an off-the-air video called Dreams, and one is an off-the-air video called Nightmares. So next week, we will be taking a bizarre, psychedelic, and possibly seizure-inducing world look into the world of sleeping. (laughs) Uh, So that is next week on the Pope on Film podcast. So Dreams slash off-the-air and nightmares slash off the air slash adult swim. 
So yeah. the dreams one is just a YouTube one, and the nightmare one is an adult swim. Don't worry, bunny. Send them directly to you. But join us, won't you, next week for more homework with the Pope on Film Podcast. Thank you.